everyone, I'm Lance and welcome to my community. Today we will talk about three types of communities. The location-based community, identity-based community, and organizational-based community. Let us begin with location-based community. Location-based community are the communities of place, are local neighborhoods, villages, towns, or cities. In right here around the downtown Manila where I live. You can see that most of us here live in condominiums. Land in this area is very expensive so people must live in small units. But still people choose to live here because of its location. It is close to almost everything like places of work, study, healthcare, worship, and others. The mixture of convenience and inconvenience of being in this location has become part of our lifestyle. Next is identity-based community. This is the community based on ethnic group subculture, religious, and pluralistic civilization. Here in our community, you can easily notice the strong Chinese-Filipino identity. Majority of the residents in these condominiums are Chinese-Filipinos. Shops here are named both in English and in Chinese. Even the goods sold in the market mostly cater to the Chinese-Filipino recipes. And lastly, organizational-based community. These are communities organized informally around family or network-based guilds. One example is the Kangha Association. Chinese clans association like this are formed by overseas Chinese based on dialect groups or the same family names. Like in this case, Kangha Association belongs to the Ui family. The main purpose is to look after their family members' affair and welfare. Organizationally based communities are also organized formally. Like this Arangke Market Cooperative. Helping one another through common networks of suppliers and customers. I'm really glad that I can show some examples of the three types of communities right in my neighborhood. I hope you learned something from me today. Thank you for watching.